uh, it's down the ZX because we're looking to the back down the ZX that's why it's highlighted here um, eight sides because we're going to sub patch it if we're not going to sub patch it you'll be needing way much more sides somewhere in the 60 to have a really smooth circle as you can see here by sub patching it we can get away with just eight sides and it's easier down the road as well and I'll show you let's sub patch this one so alphanumeric and let's make this eight sides okay and commit to this all right so the we have the back and we're going to be bullying in holes in here so that we um, that's why we're not sub patching that as well so now we're going to be taking this one select all and then press the equal key to hide the one in the back we don't need to render it at that resolution it's going to take more time especially with the um, particle particle effects and and when the door opens we get the glass and all the reflections and and uh, it's going to take uh, it's going to take some time so to save time uh, we can get away but by rendering at about 75 percent of this resolution and later on in Sony Vegas Pro you're just going to scale that up again and you will not notice that so 75 percent will be will be good and if you're not good with numbers and you want to be to have 75 percent um, of these numbers here that's a pretty easy because you just divide it so by there's an easy way to do that we have the door up here so we click on the large wheel and we just simply click and drag that underneath the door done we'll do the same with the small wheel underneath the door done um, the poles also need to move together with the door that pole and uh, let's see this one um, the lights can stay where they are the wall the floor everything else can st can stay put but this needs to be moving together with the door when we're opening it and that's that's it we've we've set that up there there's also another way of doing it is by if you choose this pole for instance and you choose properties sorry no M for motion options then you'll notice that still have our inside as you can see here it's highlighted because it's selected as an object okay now what we're gonna do is we're gonna have that object be the emitter that's easy in this case now we're gonna dress this up so that it looks like smoke now before I do that I want to show you the F8 which pops up the presets and you can also have a look at the presets because they have some pretty good build-in presets starting off which can give you a good starting point if you want to create something some really nice effects there okay so we go to um, file import media and here are all the files that have been outputted from uh, Lightwave and notice that the first three frames that I mentioned in the last video I've renamed them so that we have a sequential uh, numbering numbering here from 51 till 228 now if you click on the first one of the sequential files um, if you would simply click open now it will only load that one up in the media bin that one single image but down here it says open still image sequence range 51 to 228 that's what we want so